Hi everyone. Hi. It's Nan. And who are you? <laughs> Franny. And Franny. We're with Zetter. We're coming to you from our scrapbook room. And we were busy last night, right? Really busy. Really busy. We're making um, little albums for Franny's Girl yes. Scout troop. We're gonna work. Cute. We're working on a badge. Yes. We're gonna put pictures of all the girls in uh -huh. here in your troop. And then we put these little tags in the middle because mm -hmm. we have to write something about each girl. Yeah. So this is not a finished album. We're just prepping it to get ready for the brownie meeting, right? On Friday. On oh, Friday, yay. yay. So Mommy, while well, you were sleeping last night, <laughs> Mommy, I want to show everybody, was punching and binding, or just punching really, all the little components to get ready to make 14 of these yes. albums. We had to make 14, one for example, one. and one for every kid. One Each for every kid. girl, right? Every girl. So when we got up this morning, I said, oh, I have to bind all these, but maybe we should shoot a little video and show everybody what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about how to bind these, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about, what are these? Wire. They're called O-wire. The O-wire. The O-wire, because there's little tips that we can give you to help make a perfect circle. Oh, then that's probably why it's called O-wire. O-wire. Because O's are shaped like O's. Circles. Circles. <laughs> That's right. Circles. That's right. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go over some basics so everybody has a little bit of information on how to size their bind it all for the O-wire, okay? These are the sizing templates, okay? We're using three-quarter inch O-wire today, and the O-wire comes in a bunch of different sizes. The three-quarter inch is a good universal size. We use this for a lot of the different albums. So this is the three-quarter inch O-wire. Take your three-quarter inch sizing template, okay? And... Here, let's move this out of the way so the camera can see. You'll take the template and lay it in the binding channel like this, and then go ahead and tighten it just to the point where the sizing template will stand up on its own, but you can still take it out, okay? That will help you size it. And then there's a couple of other things you should know. Um, the, o, the O wire always comes in 12 inch lengths. How many holes did we punch? Eight, ten. 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 Nine. So, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. We punched ten holes, so we're going to cut off. 10 of the loops, right? 3, mm -hmm. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to use our handy Zetter wire cutters here and just cut it off right there in the middle. So we're going to use that white O wire for this project, okay? Yay. 10. Now, here's a couple of tricks with the O wire. There's the small side. And the big side. And the big side. When you put your O wire in the binding channel, you always want the small loop facing the machine that way. Okay, so just think small loop facing the words Zetter. Okay, the other trick is when you have threaded the O wire onto your project, see the slight indentation? Mm -hmm. See the little bump? Yes, I see it, Mom. <laughs> You're going to want to make sure that the project is centered right there in that indentation. So with those two tricks and a properly sized binding channel, you should be able to create perfectly O O wire. <laughs> okay, one more tip. When you bind, we want this seam right there to be where? In the middle in the, in the book. In the back. In the back. In the back the of the book, not out here. No, that would look very messy. That would, yeah, it wouldn't be very pretty. So we want to make sure that we keep the seam of the O-wire inside the book. So this is how we do that. Okay. Here's our book. We're going to pretend like it's already bound. Okay. And we're going to take the back cover and flip it around to the front. So here's my yeah. front cover and the back cover. They're facing each other. Then we're going to insert the wire. Insert the wire. Insert the wire. So I have these little note cards here, so we're going to have to try to make sure they're lined up. So let me lay this down so we can see what we're doing. You want to hand me those pages? Oh, of course, right there. Okay, now hand me the next page. Okay, so we're threading them. And this is the nice thing about the bind it all is that you don't have to use all the same size pages. Here we're going to alternate top and bottom with these little note cards. There we go. Franny's my little helper. <laughs> Put this one on the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you grab the next one. Wait, did I skip one? Oh. I skipped one. <laughs> Don't want to miss any of the holes. Silly mama. Silly mama. There. Here. Put this one down on this end. So what we're doing for the brownie chip is we like to put these together in advance because this is a little too much for a one-hour Girl Scout meeting. Yes. So we're going to put it all together ourselves, and the girls can just paste in their pictures for the photo album. Okay, now the back cover. You want to put that on? Uh, yes, I will. 
There we go. There we go. Everything's in there. I always kind of give it a shake to make sure no pages come out. No pages come out. Okay. Everything's good. Okay. And then here is how we're going to lay it in the binding channel. Yes. It has to look like little legs creeping and crawling. So yeah, little legs facing down. Yeah. Small loops face which way? To the... To the zetter. Okay, now I'm going to lay this down flat. Okay, now hold on. Can you get to it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and bring it down. Watch your fingers. Okay, now bring it back up. Now let me move it down again. Go. Mm-hmm. Come on, all the way, muscles. Okay. How did we do? Did we make an O? Oh, yes, we did. Look at all them. They look O-ish. They look O-ish? Yeah, they look O-ish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now when I flip the cover around, is the seam out here? No. Oh, it looks good, huh? It looks pretty good. Is the seam right here? No. Is the seam in the back where it's supposed to be? Yay! Yay, we did it. So this is a cute little album, like I said, in, um, for moms and anybody who's making projects for school or brownie trips or any organization. Use scrap paper, use scrap chipboard here. I use little scrap pieces of this note card paper. And we're gonna have a really fun project for the brownies. So that's a real quick tutorial on the O-wire. Keep in mind, trim it to the length you need. Small loops toward the machine and always with the opening side down in the machine. Keep your templates handy. And by all means, don't do what we do, which is what? Make an O-wire monster! monster! So that's it for today for Zetter. Thanks for watching. Bye. bye. Say bye. Bye. Where are you? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. It's so easy. Even a little brownie Girl Scout can do it. Right? Okay. Now what are we going to do? We're going to put it flat down like a spider. Wait a minute. Now go. Go ahead and go. Okay. Move it down. Brush. How's it look? Pretty oh, good. That one needs to get punched a little bit more or bound a little bit more. One more time. A little squeeze. Okay, now flip it around. Flip that cover around. Mm -hmm. Show me. Say ta da. Ta da. <laughs> okay, do one more. Flat down. Okay, go ahead.